Hi, I'm Chris and I'm a guitarist for Enlighten. Hello, I'm Tim, uh, I'm a singer and I play piano. Hi, I'm Dave, I attack the drums. Hi, I'm Sarah, I play keys but play bass as well on keys. We've been playing together for quite a long time in various different forms. We sort of, probably I'd say about eight years ago now, we started playing um, with a few of us doing leading worship at the children's church and then through that we've had various drummers and things and um, eventually formed just the four of us and we've probably been going the four of us about three years now. For me music is about um, there's something just in me that just wants to write, to express myself, to um, express the things I feel. Um, it's an art form, it's uh, about who I am and then obviously with my relationship with God and passion for Jesus it's an expression of, of that and it comes across hopefully in the music so I think for me personally it's all about writing about um, the, getting those melodies that really express something new and something different um, and then just seeing that transform into a song we really want our music to mean something. We really want what we say, uh, what we have to say, and what we have to bring to connect with people, to mean something to them. It's for us, it is about expressing something that we live, something that we share in our, our common life together. And when we play live, we hope that, you know, our hope and prayer really is that that comes across, that, um, the lives that we're living on a daily basis somehow are expressed in a musical form which hopefully connect with where people are at um, we've had a couple of really great live gigs lately where we've just really had the opportunity to connect with people on a, a really deep level and uh, yeah we just hope that through our music we can um, empower people that we can uh, encourage people inspire people just to uh, be more passionate about their faith to step out in their faith and um, and to feel confident in it as well so a lot of our music is about uplifting those that do follow Jesus and uh, inspiring them to um, to express something about God really the next album um, we're really excited about it's probably our first album that has a real theme behind it, a real concept behind it. We really, some of the songs have already been written, we've performed some of them, we're doing some more tonight. Uh, and we're really excited about this idea of a theme that just runs straight through it. Can I share the theme? Go on. The theme is largely around hope. Uh, we live in a, a difficult time. Uh, a challenging time and in a, a nation where hope is not really spoken about a lot so we really feel that through our music we want to share hope that we want to tell people uh, that there is hope out there so hopefully some of the songs we've got some great influences um, still sticking with some of you know the Coldplay type influences but then also um, hopefully dipping into a bit of Switchfoot um, and some of the you know American Christian bands Leland and some guys like that so yeah, sounding okay? Really, it's just about um, when we play, sort of impacting people and inspiring them. And I think one of the things I'd like to, our legacy to be is that when people come to our gigs, they just feel something of God and sort of feel that connection with God and just inspired in what they do. I would, I would love to, to have people who, when they look back and think they've actually been changed and challenged and. Yeah, cha changed more than challenged, I think. I think a lot of people can challenge, but I would love to be part of it that changes people for God and with God um, and alongside God. That's what I'd love um, our legacy to mainly be. For me, I think, it, um, like Sarah and Dave said, I think it's inspiration, challenge and change, I think, for people who come to our gig to be changed in some way, to go a little bit different, even if it's just a bit, or have a bit more hope than when they came, but they're different in some way after listening to the kind of songs and the message that we bring. Um, and I think at the end, Ben Light, if we can bring a force of kind of change um, to the many thousands of people we've played to already, <laughs> then that'd be brilliant, and hopefully thousands more. It's just God has placed something I'd like to think inside each one of us, that God has um, placed in us a gift uh, of you know of some kind and my 
my hope for our legacy is really that kind of I've done justice to that and that I have uh, used that in whatever way God has asked me to or you know encouraged me to and that I can just be true really to what God has put inside of me and then obviously for each one of us that would make me happy. The heart behind a thousand tongues really is about um, this expression of a God which is just unbelievable really and so beyond our comprehension I think as you become more and more aware of God you become you realize that you know less and less about him so the more you learn the more you read the more you find out you actually realize that God is bigger and bigger and bigger and you realize you know less and less and less and really that is the heart behind thousand tongues and um, the line you know a thousand tongues with a thousand words um, couldn't speak of all you've done um, and then a thousand songs sung for a thousand years it's this idea that no matter how many songs have been written over the centuries, over many, many years, no matter how many poems, words, preaches, still what God has done and his love for each and every one of us has never fully been expressed. And that will be for eternity. So hopefully it's kind of Enlightened's way of saying we cannot comprehend, we cannot sum up in any song, no matter how long we go for, how many songs we write, we, God is far beyond our comprehension. And uh, yeah, hopefully the song, we did dip into um, Oh For A Thousand Tongues, the uh, the hymn, for, you know, just to borrow some of the lyrics and just to take influence there. Um, yeah, so hopefully we've grasped the idea that he's far beyond any comprehension of ours. It's
Tell me your name. I'm Rob. Uh, you just watched Enlighten. What did you think of the guys? I thought they were really good, yeah. Enjoy it? Did you rock it? Yeah, I enjoyed it, yeah. That's great. If you could sum up the band in three words, what would they be? Um, I'm not sure, I just... One word? <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> did you enjoy the gig? Uh, yeah, it was uh, very good. I enjoyed the music. Is that the first time you've heard Enlighten? Yeah. Yeah, it is. And in one word? One word. Um, talented. I like the keyboard. Well. Thanks very much. What's your name? Zach. What's your name? Matt. And? I'm Joe. Thanks very much. Cheers. Cheers. Ryan. And? Evan. You just watched the, the gig. What do you think of Enlighten? Yeah, it was good. I liked it. It's my type of music. Is that the first time you've heard the band? Yeah, it is. You like their, their sound? Yeah, it's definitely my type of music and that type of stuff, yeah. Definitely. And one word, if you could sum up the band, what would that word be? Mean. <laughs> my time is still. Amazing. Um, sorry, where are you from? Um, near Southport. Thanks very much, lads. Can I ask your name? I'm John. I see you've just bought an Enlightened CD. Yes. Did you enjoy the band tonight? Yes, I did, yes. Very much. If I could ask you for one word to sum up the band's music, what would it be? Uh, one word's very difficult. I would say energising and loud. And a good loud? Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, I, like, I would say light, light rock. Uh, more modern than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. Enjoy. Give me your names. I'm Tim. I'm Amy. I'm Lars. I'm Chris. I'm, D I'm Darren. <laughs> I'm Adrian. I'm James. Give us a wave for the camera. So uh, you've just uh, watched Enlighten. Yes. What did you think? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Oh, thumbs up, definitely. Thumbs up, definitely. So next year. if uh, you could give me one word just to sum up the band's music, what would it be going down the line? Fantastic. Rocking. Great. Awesome. Speechless. Good. Is that good? Yeah, very, yeah. <laughs> That's great. So, um, where are you all from? Well, most of us apart from him are from Lincoln. Lincoln. Yeah. So, have you heard the band before? No. Yeah. First time. I would definitely be adding him on Facebook. Uh, fantastic. Great. Thumbs up. Cheers, mate. Can you give me your names? Daniel. Anna. I uh, see so you've just bought uh, Enlightened CDs. Yes. Yes, um, yes, did you enjoy the music? Yes, it was excellent, thank you. Yes, very it's good. good. It's very good. We've not seen them before. You haven't seen them before? No, no. Where are you from? Manchester. Manchester? Yes. That's great. So if uh, you could give me one word to sum up the band's music tonight, what would it be? Um, joyful. And Sorry? Yeah, I was going to say joyful and uh, uplifting. Fantastic. Um, the songs were very real and talked about things that affect everybody. So it was good. It was very relevant. Thanks very much for your time. Oh. Is that your first time you've heard Enlighten? Yeah. Yeah. Can I ask your names first of all? John. Buffy. And uh, what did you make of the music tonight? It was good. We liked it. We bought the CDs. Oh, you've, oh, you've bought the CDs. So, um, if I could get from you one word to sum up uh, the music tonight, what would it be? Awesome. And your word? Great. I wait for the camera, please. Yeah, we'll be round in a minute. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Thanks very much. Cheers.